So this is a continuation of my previous video of the cups I was making. I'm going to show you what I'm doing next. I'm actually going, I'm actually almost finished. I have one more cup to do. But uh, this is uh, one of the cups that I worked on. As you can see, it's in black and I believe it's uh, magenta. I've already got one coat of the... Um, clear uh, clear coat uh, epoxy and as well I've sprayed it three times with the uh, sealer and then three times with the UV spray before I put on the epoxy which seems to have worked. Uh, one mistake I did do is uh, the, the sealer doesn't seem to make the alcohol ink run but if you spray too closely with the UV sealer my experience is that it did blur some of the lines so I did have to go over one of my cups and redo it and another one is slightly blurred but I'm okay with it so now what I'm going to do today is I'm just this is the last cup I have to do I apologize I'm I didn't want to do them all on camera because that would be a very long video but what I'm using today is this here hope I don't have it upside down I don't know I think it's not but anyway, this is water slide paper. <clears throat> what I did is I designed the, uh, I took the size of the paper, I put it into a photo program. I designed my, what I wanted to go onto the cups. Then I printed it. Then I used the uh, Kmar, or however you want to say it, sealer. And then I cut them out and now I'm putting them on. Now it does say to, after printing, to use them within, I think it said 12 or 24 hours, I'm not sure, it's in here, but um, I didn't because I was all excited to do this and I thought I was going to get it done a little bit sooner. Unfortunately, I did get, uh, my husband got me sick and I've been sick for quite a while now and I'm having a hard time co not coughing and getting motivated and whatnot, so I, these have been sitting for a very long time. But they seem to be working just just fine anyway. So let me show you the final step on these cups. Well, not quite the final because I am going to put one more coat of the epoxy on. But what I did is, so here's some of my designs. Hopefully I don't, the ink doesn't reactivate and go on to the, <clears throat> to the cup. But these, so this is all going on this here cup. So deciding on, uh, I probably put this here, this here. And this on this here side. So I'm going to start off with the name. And I have my water. And it says to put it into the water for 30 to 60 seconds. And I've read some reviews on this. I hope you can see. Sorry, I can't see my camera because it is upside down. But um, I've read the reviews and a lot of people said that uh, 30 to 60 seconds was too much. However... I, I, um, I've been doing just fine with that and that might be because my paper dried a lot longer than it was supposed to so that may be um, why but it did also say in the instructions to use it uh, quicker than I have otherwise it may not come off of this here paper but it seems to be doing just fine for me so uh, deciding on where I want the name I think if you hold the cup in uh, your right hand you probably want your name to go here so that's where I'm going to start of course I'm not using a timer as you can see I'm going to put uh, this in here let me see what do I want on next will be this one here so while I'm working on that I'm just going to do this one. Oh, I forgot my paper towel I'll grab that in a second <clears throat> so it's actually pretty easy you hold it on with one hand this is actually the first time I've ever used water slides, but uh, it's very, very easy. Uh, that was it. And toss that into the trash. And now I'm just going to, I hope that was on camera, because I cannot see my camera, but now I'm just going to line it up. And my paper, getting my paper. And then I'm going to just dry my, my water slide off. One swipe this way, one swipe that way. Let me see, and then just lining it 
this up. Oops, that looks all right to me. Nope, I'm going to come this way a little bit. I'm just looking at it and deciding where I want it. Because I know the other part of my design is quite large. Sometimes I think it's a little bit easier. If it's a little wet, it'll slide along a little better. Oops. I don't know if you can see me doing this, but I'm just smoothing it out. Let's get that a little bit underneath there. And smoothing it this way. Making sure my distances are the same top and bottom, which it's not, so let me fix that. Or it will drive me crazy. And this is for a friend who is named Martha, who's coming to visit me soon. Maybe tomorrow. She doesn't live too far away. And I've been working on this project for quite some time and I feel bad that I that it's taken me so long but the good thing about good friends is they will forgive you anyway so that is that taking my second my second one I just want to kind of like look at this I think I want it on the side and then that one there so we'll just go with Right here. Now Mar Martha is, um, does have um, a musical background and so I went to the internet and I know um, I will get back to you on this but I'm fairly certain she's going to look at this and know exactly what song this is. Could be wrong but uh, being that she's musical I'm sure the first thing she's going to do is hear these notes in her head because that's how she and I operate. Although I am not musical like I had taken piano as a child, thank you to my parents who allowed me to do so. My parents were very, very supportive in all the crazy stuff I did. Lots of sports. Mother was always there to make costumes for the school and the skating and the everything. Drive us to whatever sports event we were in volunteering. Parents were very, 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 very supportive. I was very blessed. Okay. To me, let me see. I'm looking at this, looking at this. It appears to be straight. So maybe I'll just drive that off. Once this way, once that way. And I should have had that in already. Silly me. So, so far, this is what we have. moves. I believe that is straight. I love this, the um, epoxy on there makes it really glow. Whoops. I like to be extra careful. The epoxy does make it really glow um, or shine or however you want to say. I guess it would be shine. Okay, and the final sticker. It's not really a sticker. It's a water slide, but same thing, right? over there. I don't know if I'm on camera. I apologize. And go again. And I do want to pull this this way. Side if I'm going to be okay with that. Good thing I have pink where it is, but I think I am going to just a tiny bit just so it's not on the alcohol ink. And oops, oops, oops. I don't know if you can see. I apologize if I have moved it out of the camera. I think that is 
centers, I'm gonna get it. So, I think I'm okay with that. My son would say, Mom, you don't need so much stuff on there. My son is, um, I have been working on a cup for my son for quite some time. And every time I think I've got it done, I show him and he says, Oh, I changed my mind. I would like. And so I keep changing his cup. For him, it's a tumbler with epoxy. My other son is very laid back when it comes to this kind of stuff, and he didn't even want anything other than his name on his cup, so that's what he got on his epoxy uh, tumbler, or glitter tumbler, tumbler, however you want to say it. So tonight I will be pulling out my Cricut one more time to print off the changes my son has requested. At first he only wanted his initials, now he wants his name. So now I have to peel off the initials and put his name on. So there we have it. Okay, well hopefully you saw all that. Probably not because I probably had it off camera. I apologize if I did. But anyway, it says uh, craftiness is happiness. And then we've got, this is Ode to Joy, and her name. So that's one cup. I've got the oven on, and I'm going to pop these in the oven, but I, um, I'll put the camera on pause while I do that. But I just want to show you all the rest. Today I'm going to try and enhance these cups. I had them in the oven last night and the water slide is on very well. When I rub my finger across I can feel the little edge but it is not going to come off. So I want to make these look a little bit more like leaves and I want to enhance these flowers here and then I'm going to seal it again with the Kmar varnish and, and the UV sealant and then I'm going to put one more coat of epoxy on it. <clears throat> so I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never done this part before, so bear with me. But what I think I'm going to use is uh, random products, actually. Um, I really love mica powder. So I do have uh, two shades of purple for mica powder. One of them is violet. One of them is lavender. I don't know which is which. Um... I have this very, very fine glitter, so I have this uh, very, very, uh, it says Tutti Frutti, and this is strawberry, strawberry Hibiscus, and I thought those might look nice on the flowers, and as well I have this uh, very fine, well not as fine, but it's fairly fine um, glitter. 
So those are three of them. I also have this green, uh, very fine hummingbird glitter. And, oh, and then I also have mica powder, and I'll probably go with mica powder. You can see how fine this stuff is. It just makes an incredibly fine dust, and it's over all over everything in this box, unfortunately. But um, this mica powder has got incredible shine, and I really, I just absolutely love mica powder. I think I should put mica powder in everything. I don't, but I think I should. Anyway, I hope you can see the video okay. I never can see my camera, so I just hope you can. I'll find out at the end. I can see a cup here. Let me see. Turn my little... I'm on a very tiny table. Let me see if I can get that more in the center. Sort of like that. Okay, this here is some um, tacket. And I've added a little bit of water to the tacket. I'm going to use these micro brushes today. I'm just going to dip that in there. Let me see. I'm just going to enhance my... I think it probably even already had too much on there. I don't want to put a lot on. I just want to put it where I want... Hopefully it'll stick. But just where I want some of that glitter... You can hear my little dog's feet out there. Chicka, chicka, chicka. That's what I hear. Oh, there's some yellow in this flower. I wonder if I need to put a hint of yellow in there. Now the tack, it should dry. Oh, it's doing its thing. I should have probably started on the other side. Put my cup around. Hopefully you can see me working. I don't even know if you can. I apologize. I am not good at this camera thing. See. I don't know if you can see or not. I think you can. I'm just dabbing where I want this here to go. It seems to beat up a little bit, but that's okay because I don't want to have I don't want to cover this thing in glitter because that would defeat the purpose of highlighting stuff. And I'm just going to put that on the side. Let me see this one here. Let's see, okay, I can see it there. Let's see, let's um, hmm. it's not quite the right color red. See what I have? That's too pinky, I think. Flamingo pink. Oh, maybe I'll use that on the other cup. Let me see. I know I have more red glitter. Let me put this on pause and I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back and I've got my Lumalite Amazing Clear Coat uh, product to uh, seal my cups. Uh, this one here uh, is supposed to be able to be used on food surfaces. Now, it's ingest if you ingest it, it's harmful, especially obviously if it's wet. <clears throat> but it takes a, a minimum of 48 hours before uh, it's cured. Anyway, uh, this one here says in, uh, indicated for direct and indirect repeated food contact when accurately measured, thoroughly mixed, and fully cured. So I still don't like to put this on where the mouth is going to go, but I feel fairly confident that this is a safe enough product to use. And so that's what I'll be doing. I'm going to start on this purple cup. Notice I've got it taped at the bottom and around here, but I do believe, I'm hoping I'm talented today, you never know, but I'm, I believe I should be able to keep my brush on a line so that it will not go over the, the line at the top so and it's going to run down it's not going to run up so I'm fairly confident I can do this but if it doesn't work on this one I will be taping the rest so I'm just going to put a generous amount oops so much for talent right there but that's okay we got this And it, and I'm going to take a torch once all of my cups are done to make sure I've got all the bubbles out. Man, maybe I will have to tape. We'll see. I don't think I will. We'll see. May just have to slow down a bit. I do want to put a fairly generous coat on here. I know it's going to run down and onto my tape, so I will need to remove the tape within approximately an hour to an hour and a half. Even though this has got now two coats of epoxy and all the other sealants, it's got the um, Kmar varnish and the Krylon UV sealer, it will still uh, suggest it hand wash. And I would like to, I'll put the information in my video. I, I'm really bad with names and I do apologize, but um, the information on how to seal these, if you've watched my first video, was by one of the young ladies in a group. I call everyone young ladies, so you're just going to have to get used to that. But it was a, a, a person in one of the alcohol groups who first answered the question, or the first time I saw it answered, but she actually went to a <clears throat> art place, an art uh, where they do this sort of thing and ask them for the information and then she shared it with the group so I'd like to credit her for sharing that information so that we can all um, get um, be of you know get the value from her from her hard work so uh, credit you know not uh, a candle loses nothing by light by lighting another candle so um, if you can give credit to someone I think that's a great great thing to do especially when they've earned it and she has earned it because she's the one who taught us or, or gave us the knowledge in order to do this I'm looking at that but it's it's already in the cup so coming back along to this side there's gonna in there get around there and carefully in there hmm and I will put this in my hand let me see my torch should be near it is and so
So now we'll get all the bubbles out. Of course, it does make your epoxy run. So we'll make sure that we're going to be putting it down and leaving it down for a while until the epoxy dries. And I think that worked just fine, so I'm going to continue on with the next ones. So I will start on... How did I do that? Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to start on the bottom and work my way upward on this. And by that, I mean I will be putting epoxy where I've put on the glitter on the top part. But I will not do that until the bottom is done because, again, epoxy is going to run downwards. And so I don't want to... I just want to make sure that I get it right. I'm hoping that you can see that. I'm probably not very good in the camera here. I'm going to have to try and figure this out. I do have it on a ring light. I may have to raise that ring light up. Because I feel like I'm always off the camera. But I want you to be able to see it. So I want it to be close enough. Obviously not a professional video person. But, as I learn, I would like to help others learn too. Oops, oops, oops. I just find that there's not enough, or there's, I mean, there's plenty of videos online, but uh, maybe not so much for alcohol ink. Well, not as many as I would like. So I'm hoping I'm doing my share to help with that so that people can learn and as we all grow, we can grow together. Now this should be done in a well ventilated area, which I do not have. I am in my in a spare room that we've made into a craft room sort of makeshift. Um, in the garage so it's not vented at all but I do have a mask which I am not wearing at the moment because oh there must be a reason I don't know why but I'm not wearing my mask and I should be there we go I think, uh, these are on very good I'm not worried about those coming off but I do want to give a little bit on here where are because I've got the glitter, which the glitter pop, maybe just to put in a little there, and then of course on top of the name, which is going to have to go right on. I did clean it up a little bit. Um, I think I didn't do that on camera, but I'm sure you can figure out how to clean up your glitter to your satisfaction. I think I'm going to run this right across just to kind of give it a, a better finished look. There it goes right there. Oh, a little hard on my back. I kind of like this. I don't know if you can see that shine on that green, but it's amazing. Trying to bring it in here. I think I'm happy with that. A little bit. with that. Where's my little...
one here. This will be the last one I show. The rest I'm going to do off camera because when you've seen them one, you've seen them all. Oh, I like this. I really think that the glitter and mica powders have added a lot to these cups. Oh, my dogs think somebody's here. Oh, must be my son. I love this green. It's just absolutely amazing. I love that's that Mr. Nola's glitter, if um, if you're wondering. I think I mentioned that before. But it is a, a really beautiful, I mean, it just lays so flat. <clears throat> and it just shines amazing. And gets into everything, so it's a good thing I like it. If you have any tips on how to control glitter, how not to fart glitter, I don't know. I could use a tip. Pretty happy with this. I think that I'm doing a fairly good job on keeping on that line. Hopefully you can see. Of course, as soon as I see that, I went over the line. How awesome. But it does clean up fairly quickly. And this is self-leveling, so it will run down. Which is why I tape the bottom and not so worried about the top. Now when I first did it, I did have tape on the top and I would do that again because I want to make sure I wanted to make sure I got that alcohol ink perfect, like sealed it perfectly. So if I did it again, I would seal. I mean, I would tape the, the top on the first coat of epoxy, absolutely. But I'm pretty happy with not sealing it, I mean taping it on the second coat of epoxy. Okay. Let me put a little extra on this one. Okay, and I'm just going to do the same thing over here. I think I'm going to try and keep it on where I have this sticker. Not the sticker, the water slide, sorry. Because I want to make it look like it was meant to be. Unfortunately, I have to make sure I don't put too much on here because it will run down. I guess I could clean it up. If it does run down too much, I can clean that up with a little bit of alcohol. I try not to get too much on this part. And of course, the nice thing about putting epoxy on this as well is um, epoxy really does glow or shine, however you want to say it. So it's really going to bring out this whole design. See how, I don't know if you can tell, but the, the glitter right here just absolutely popped from that side to that side. I don't know if you can see, but I sure can. The glitter absolutely pops as soon as I put that epoxy on there. I hope you can see. I don't know if I keep getting out of the camera. I apologize if I have.
And here we go. I don't know. I'll do half. I don't know if you can see, but the hair's half and half. But it just absolutely, absolutely just glows when that epoxy gets put on. Love, love, love. I'm just going to try and end Turn it up a little bit, making sure I don't have too much on because I know it will run. But I think she's going to be thrilled. For now, I'm going to let you go, and I want to thank you for watching my video.